Welcome to this short video where I'll outline the use of CAD files in Esri's new ArcGIS for Desktop Pro application. ArcGIS Pro is a great way to make your CAD data come alive in 2D and 3D. Here, I've linked 2D and 3D views of this CAD file displayed along with ArcGIS Pro's 3D terrain and imagery. As an overall strategy of CAD interoperability within ArcGIS, Esri is committed to provide GIS functionality to CAD users and to utilize the wealth of geospatial information contained in CAD files. ArcGIS for Desktop applications, ArcMap, ArcCatalog, and ArcGIS Pro all read CAD data as native GIS datasets. This allows you to easily migrate CAD content into GIS databases, as well as include CAD data in 2D and 3D maps. In this video, I will highlight working with CAD files in the new ArcGIS Pro application. I can easily add CAD data to an existing map by simply selecting the Add Data tool on the Map tab of the ribbon interface. I simply browse to the file on the disk and add the desired CAD content from the CAD file. In this case, I want all of the text, lines, points, and areas from this CAD file to be included in my map. Once added to my map, I can re these GIS layers based on the CAD file like I would any other GIS map layer. I will change the color and add some transparency to these polygons here, for example. Continuing to work with the CAD file data in my map, I want to change the color of each polyline that was drawn in a different CAD layer by modifying the way I symbolize the color like I would for any GIS layer. I will use the CAD property field of this data's CAD layer name to draw different colored symbols. In the first release of ArcGIS Pro, the text entities in my CAD drawing are added to my map according to the insertion point of the text entities in the drawing, which means I end up with a point feature class. I want to label these points to see the text values on my map. The default ref name holds a copy of the text value, but to be more technically accurate, I'm going to change this field to be the CAD text property field instead. I will make my text slightly smaller than the default and apply a rotation angle from the CAD TXT angle property to make the text appear more similar to the way it did in the CAD file. Furthermore, I'm going to hide the insertion points by using a hollow symbol for the points and minimize the size. This will make the point invisible and just display my CAD text values as labels. There are other ways to add CAD content to my map. I can, for example, drag and drop CAD datasets from the Project Pane Viewer onto my map. I can choose to have the output of my geoprocessing tools and models add CAD data to my map. The Select Data Geoprocessing tool takes as input a featured dataset and allows me to select one feature class from within that dataset. CAD files are treated in ArcGIS Desktop as featured datasets containing feature classes. When I invoke this tool within a map, the result is added back to my map as a map layer. In this case, I will add the same polylines I have been to this new map. Like most geoprocessing tools that accept feature classes or feature layers, the Make Feature Layer tool allows me to add the resultant feature layer to my map. The Make Feature Layer tool includes a filtering query option that I could, for example, select just one CAD layer from all of the polylines within the drawing. Here, I'm going to add the lines again, but only the building outlines.
Another way to get CAD information into your ArcGIS Pro map is to import a map from ArcMap, an MXD file. The coordinate system, group layering organization, and any definition queries on those layers are honored when the map is imported. Because CAD information in ArcGIS Pro utilizes a different technique than ArcMap for drawing layers, you will find you may need to re-symbolize the layers and label the text to make it look closer to the maps you saw in ArcMap.